Great. Uh, go to the Snowflake. Click on the Snowflake. We'll create an account. And also, like, we can include, we can integrate in the AWS account today. And after that, so whenever we start the live classes, we'll explain like, completely end to end the Snowflake architecture. What are the use cases of Snowflake architecture? And again, which scenario we need to use? What exactly the data mining we should do there? All these scenarios we can explain. Okay. Yes. Click on the sign up. So this is the first time you are going to create like a Snowflake account, right? Yes. Great. Okay. Click on that. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can sign up here. And again, this will be like, you know, 30 days of a free trial. So which one? Uh, standard, right? Uh, okay. okay, you can take with this. Enterprises also, no worries. Okay. And you can create like the check. Basically, we can go take enterprises. Click on the second one. So here I have uh, to choose. Yeah, your... yeah, AWS. Yeah, AWS, yeah, yes. Okay. And region? Get straight up. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, the region by default is a uh, Asia Pacific is Singapore only. Okay. Other other you can skip, you can skip. Skip skip now not required. Skip 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 skip. skip. Yes. Great, that's a great. And again, this account will be available 35 days, sorry, 30 days. In that 30 days, anyway, we're going to complete our classes. And again, how to load the real-time data, like, you no, know, in the different format. Like, JSON format, CSV format, and also, like, any database, data format in the different formats, and also, like, you know, and again, from the... Paracute format and again from the paracute format to the CSV format. So, all these things take now we can see in the real time scenario. Uh, can you log into that? Are you sure do we have a Edible second? We sure your voice is totally breaking. We uh, we are not able to uh, hear your all voice. Right. Now is okay. Hello. Sorry, uh, Vishwa, you are not audible. Your voice is okay, really right? breaking. Just a moment. Okay. I'll reach out. Now is it audible, right, uh, Rajeshwar, Prakash, Sumit? Yeah, Vishwa. Great. Yes, okay, yes. anyway, I think my router is problem something. All right, so now, see, now I think everyone need to create a AWS account and also like Snowflake account we need to create. And in the 30 days, we can learn like end-to-end -end the real-time scenarios. All right, okay. Clear it. Now, do we have a AWS account here, uh, Rajeshwar, with you? So, the so should I log in onto Snowflake, right? Yeah, Snowflake. First, you log into the Snowflake account. Snowflake. Account identifier. 
No, just, yeah, whatever you did sign up, right? Put that on the issue. Do. And email to activate, okay. Yeah. Uh, how about Usha? I think I will join the, today only the first session, right? Hi, Vishwa, sir. Yes, Usha, today is the first day for your class, right? Uh, yes, sir. I'm actually a fresher and like, you know, I like I come across with Snowflake with my uh, sister. So I just want to explore this. So I joined the class. Oh, OK. OK, got it, got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. OK, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Yes, that's really great now. Fine. So now, now the first thing we do, we should navigate this snowflake. And again, anyway, this is a demo classes. Still, your voice is breaking. Why is this breaking? Core um, of this how to navigate and you can how to understand you know, all the tab and tabs of you. Know. Now you can see Uh, Vishwa, sir, your voice is breaking actually. Oh, I think my internet is about you. Now, now is it okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine now. Now is it okay, right? Yeah, it's fine now. Yeah, you can continue. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's Rajesh, you here now. Uh, click on the home button. Or let's click now. You, go to, you, you can go to the create. You can go to the create. See, here is SQL worksheets. We can create Python worksheet also, notebooks, and you can get repositories. So multiple things. Now we have a multiple sources where we can load the data. And also we should load the data from the AWS sister bucket also. And again, Azure blob account also. And again, Google Cloud storage account also. And again, multiple databases which we launched in any cloud also, we should load the data to this Snowflake. But Snowflake is basically a simple term. It is a data warehouse. But what is exactly data warehouse? Ah, data warehouse is nothing but so it is a this i mean it is a centralized server where we can dump the data of multiple formats in the different sources and again after gathering the data after gathering the data which is dumped in this snowflake we can do the data mining and again data analytics and again data wrangling so this is the things where exactly we can do the snowflake okay now click on the any sql sheet but for this everyone need to create a aws account Everyone need to create a AWS account and also that account should be activated. So how to integrate AWS accounts, few services data into the Snowflake also we can see. Yeah, so now in this case, a notebook, new notebook, I don't want new notebook. Okay, we'll do one thing. Uh, there is extreme right? there should be something. Can you click on the first one only Excel or kids? SQL worksheets. Yeah. In the SQL worksheet, you have extreme right. Extreme right. So I uh, think in the live classes, what is the snowflake architecture? What are the snowflake components will be used? What are the features of the snowflake? Everything we'll discuss on this. Now, everyone heard about the snowflake is a recent one. As you know, earlier you guys are working in the snowflake.
Rajesh, yes, your voice is breaking actually. What is the question? No, uh, is it a new thing for everyone that know Snowflake? Or yes. Is... Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right. I think my internet issue might be today. I think I don't know. Anyway. Okay, what exactly the Snowflake will do? We know this is a data warehouse and it will take the load of, it will take the data from the multiple sources in the different format. We understand that. But what exactly it will do? It will do the data integrations and also like it will do the data analytics concepts and you can also like it is a business intelligence concepts, right? Why we need to use this Snowflake to handle the like large data sets like which is complex queries and again it will be supporting like real time analytics and again reporting of the data and again it will be enabling the data to collaborate between the any developers or else like any developers producing the data and again also like sharing the peoples right and also like it will be providing like more scalable and again flexible data storages here right and also like we can manage we can also do the centralized data management and again with the compliance and again governance of cyber security implementation with gdpr right according to the european gdpr data security we can implement on this like pci pci dss and again epa cluster wise where we can implement in the snowflake which are basically governance compliance and also like management right the best features which is delivered from the snowflake what are the main benefits it is a faster query performance and also like it is a completely improvised like you no know, data collaborations okay, right next what exactly the snowflake will do compared to etl and also like how to integrate etl to the snowflake also so, right that is a completely nothing but is it audible right now everyone i think Good. And so we have a snowflake editions or nothing but standard enterprises and you can business critical wise version and you can also like you know virtual private snowflakes like VPS. We are there, we are having like four types of editions in the snowflake. Generally, we can use enterprises one, it is a common one. No. All right, so now we'll give the like high level plans what exactly the Snowflake architecture will contains and in what is exactly like cloud infrastructure, the Snowflake will be integrated and again virtual warehouses and again database storage and again metabase, like metadata storage base and again query engines. So this is the main high level components for that Snowflake. Right, and again the main main concepts in the snowflake which are the main concepts database schema table column and again warehouse right so what is the difference between schema and again database any idea anyone rajeshwar rajeshwar prakash yes. sumit difference between data warehouse sorry Database and again schema. No idea exactly. All right. Uh, on yeah, data, we, we are creating different different schema. So, uh, for example, uh, if we are having, uh, for example, we are having four environments: development, uh, QA, UAT, and uh, uh, for example, production. So, for uh, for different different environments, we are creating different different queries. So uh, for uh, QA, we are creating different schema. For development, we are creating different schema. But the database will be one. All right. So that is also great. And also, you know, one more point to addition that one. It is a container, right? Where we can store and again, where we can manage the data. That is called as a database. Simple. See, whatever you said, that is also true. And again, the one more point. The point is nothing but it is a container where we can store and again, where we can load the data and again, where we can manage the data. That is called as a database. And again, what is the schema here? It is a logical grouping, right? It is a logical grouping, suppose, in any one of the database. Example, if I create a database, create a database Rajeshwar, create a database Sumit, and again, create a database Prakash, and again, database Usha also. So when I create a four database here, 
right? So according to the data warehousing concepts we are, we are discussing, but in generally, database is also called as a schema. Schema is also called as a database in the SQL formats. But in the data warehousing format, schema is a bit different. Database is a bit different. Here we are, we are creating the four database. In each database, where we are going to logically isolating the specific objects, like example, tables, views, columns, right? So this is what called as a schema. Schema is nothing but in simple format, it is a logical grouping, right? It is a logical grouping of any kind of database objects. Clear, right? Now is it clear? Any confusions? Are you showing anything on the screen? Because I the uh, for me it is showing only select statement. No, no, oh, no, no. no. I am not telling anything here. Just we are discussing. Okay. Like, this is Rajesh Okay. Okay. So simple. Again, one more time. In data warehousing, schema is a bit different, and again, database is a bit different. But without data warehousing, in normal SQL. Database is also called as a schema. Schema is also called as a database, like the other naming conversions. But in the data warehousing concept, database is just like, you know, where we can create a, like any kind of database names, right? To store any kind of data. To store the data, we require a name. That name is called as a database. Now, what exactly is schema? Schema is nothing but, you know, it is a logical grouping. What is the logical grouping here? All the database objects, like such as tables, we use and again stored and again any procedures output will be dividing right exactly the key components might be tables the views and again the functions and again the sequences and again the stored procedure values so all this logical grouping we are making that and again that will be stored in the schema point clear right suppose take an example in example any example schema Suppose we have like any kind of e-commerce database, right? Which is the specific schema level, like create schema with e-commerce and you can create a table like e-commerce customers and you can have customers we are going to create like primary key and again like a customer ID or employee ID and again the name and again the email we will be generating with the schema, okay? Same thing after that, that we will be creating under the specific schema and again the table also will be creating like specific commerce also. So this is like subdivisions. These subdivisions is called as a schema. In the other naming convention also we used to call database. Like both are similar only. Clear, right? But in the snowflake, we are having a bit different. That is nothing but logical grouping. But in the snowflake, we are having a types of schemas. Star schema, snowflake schema, galaxy schema. And again, what are the main benefits of the schemas where we can organize the database objects in the logical way right so in the database subjects we have a lot of objects so those objects i can make it out groups and you can logical isolating that how exactly we will do in the real time scenario the live classes we can expect these concepts and you can how to create a star schema how to create a snowflake schemas and you can how to create a galaxy schemas all these things we can see end to end anyone created like star schema Galaxy schemas and against Snowflake schema. Anyone? No. Okay. All these things we'll see in the real time live classes. So I need to jump to other class now. So is it fine? Any conclusions? No, not as if. No. All right. So please create everyone AWS account and again this Snowflake account also. If all are okay to join like this uh, session, we'll start with the live classes from. I think this uh, demo will be ending, ending on this week. And again, next week, almost, we will be starting with the live classes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. Happy. Also, like, tomorrow, also, demo will be there. So we'll discuss in, like, some little bit, like, practical here tomorrow. Okay. 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 Thanks, Vishu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank one you. one thank question. You. Uh, how is the opening outside for this snowflake? Yeah, Kafka, Zookeeper, and again, Snowflake is getting like a lot of jobs. And again, especially it is competing for DevOps jobs also. Okay, so we need to learn Kafka also? No, if you're interested, you can learn the Kafka, Zookeeper. But Snowflake is also good. No, I mean, alone with, 
alone if he, because i am from mainframe background if i learn only snowflake can i get the jobs go alone snowflake uh but it is a less competency for that if you add a add additional knowledge kafka zookeeper that is very good for you okay so the same thing kafka zookeeper also i am the one taking training you can also okay. take that training also and you can understand that concept okay okay so thank you everyone thank you thank so vishwa uh, just a one thing are we uh, going to discuss a migration part means uh, from any database to snowflake database part Are yes, you... yeah, MySQL database, which is having data in the MySQL, and you can auto load the data the year. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. We'll connect in the live classes then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.